In this video, we're going to attempt to look at a graph and find the equation of a line. And we're going to attempt to look at the equation of a line and draw a graph, doing the process in reverse. We've already seen that the important formula that we use when graphing equations is the slope-intercept equation y equals mx plus b. And the important things that we need to know off that equation are m and b. m is the slope. b is the y-intercept. So we need to identify those important pieces of information off of this graph on the left. To find m, or the slope, do that in orange. We start at one point, going left to right, and we need to know the rise, here it's negative 2, and the run to get to another point of 3. Slope is rise over run, so in this case it's negative 2 over 3, or negative 2 thirds is the slope. The other thing we need is b, or the y-intercept, and that's where the graph crosses the y-axis. We can count from the origin, 1, 2, 3, and we see we're crossing the y-axis at a point 3, 0, 3, specifically. We can then plug this information into this y equals mx plus b by replacing m and b with the values we found. This gives us y equals m, or the slope, negative 2 thirds, x, plus b, which we just found out was 3. This is the equation whose solutions are represented by this line on the left. Let's take a look at another problem where we do this exact process in reverse. This time, I'm going to give you the equation of y equals 1 half x minus 4, and we're going to draw the picture of solutions. In the past, we've done this with a t-table, but now we have a much more efficient method, knowing that the general equation of a line in slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. We remember that m is the slope, and b is the y-intercept. We can quickly see on this equation that m, the value in front of x, is 1 half. Slope is rise over run, so this graph must w rise 1 and run 2. b is the y-intercept, and we can see off of this equation that b must be the negative 4. When using this information to graph the line, we must remember that slope tells us how the graph changes from one point to the next, the steepness from one point to the next. It does not tell us the actual location of any of those points, though. We need a starting point to get us started, and that's where the y-intercept comes in. The y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis, in this case at negative 4. Now that we have a point, from that point, we can rise 1 and run 2 to get our next point. From there, if we connect the dots, we should get a straight line. Should get a straight line. Getting closer. There we go. There's a straight line that connects the dots. We now have graphed y equals 1 half x minus 4, or drawn a picture of all the solutions, all the combinations that work in this equation to give us a true equation. By identifying the y-intercept, or our starting point, and the slope of rise 1, run 2 to get our next point, we're able to quickly graph the line, given the equation, or as in our previous example, find the equation given the line.